Okay, this is gonna be a full Celtic Cross energy read specifically for you. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be a big one. This is a full-fledged, full Celtic cross, energy read, really some direction for you. So, um, you know, settle in, uh, clear your mind, set your uh, intentions uh, to a good place, and then let's see what the cards have to tell us for you. Okay, so deep breath in, let it out slow, relax, stop the video if you want to, get yourself something to drink, or just, you know, straighten yourself up and, and uh, get ready for a nice uh, informative read. Okay, so these are good. These are the Tarot Mucha. This is another little Scarabio, but they come in a cool case, which I love. And these cases are so useful when they stand up like this, because you can take the little booklet out, and you still have the cards kept nicely there. And these have an, a good booklet. I mean, it's, it's cool-looking paper. Uh, it's got uh, interesting uh, suggestions for divination of the cards. And, uh, you know, it's, la it'll, it's lasty. So we have that. Now the cards, I'll show you before we get started are easy to use, they're, they're beautiful in the back, and uh, they're really nice uh, on the front. And they're not too hard to interpret, I mean they're typical uh, Rider weight uh, iconography, and uh, you can figure out what they mean without very much trouble at all. So, you know, if you don't get to look at a lot of cards, tune in to me, and then you're going to see some kind of cards, because I'm getting them all the time. And um, at one point, we'll have to start to give some of these away, because I've just got too many. But uh, not now, because I love everything I've got. Pretty greedy. But uh, hopefully these cards will give us some good answers, and we'll get working on that. Tarot Mucha. Done in the uh, style of the artist uh, Alphonse Mucha. Google it. Okay, this is the energy read for you today. So let's really, really get some intention into this reading. Really decide what's important for you right now. This might be the beginning of the day, this might be the end of the day, or even the middle. But this is I always like to say, it's like poking your head out the door to see what the weather's like before you uh, go out yourself. So this energy route would be a full uh, Celtic cross to help you uh, kind of decipher, uh, interpret uh, what's going to happen or what has happened to you today. So we'll take six cards right out the beginning. You know, I'm going to do that again because I didn't like the way they came out. So six cards right at the beginning. Yep, that's better. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Energy read for you today. Okay. I'm going to see what is the signifier for this read. Okay. So this is the nine, the nine. Ah, this is the hermit. Okay, so this is the hermit. And the hermit is, um, she, she's beautiful in this deck, by the way. So she's got a light that she's huddled over, really peering out into the darkness, trying to decide what is there before she gathers up the courage to go forward. This is a timid uh, hermit in this case. So the signifier of this day is... Uh, don't be too anxious to bolt ahead. Really take a minute to study uh, what the, is going on here. The uh, challenge to that with this Seven of Cups, look, there's lots of choices. Illusion and delusion. Cups are compassion, emotion. And uh, so this Seven of Cups is telling you there's lots of things out here. There's lots of choices that you can make. So take a minute to, to understand what that is, what they are. The base of this reading then with this Knight of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Okay, this knight is on wings. Okay, he's got an amazing steed that he's galloping forward, uh, just looking both ways to make sure that as they jump into the picture, that they're going to uh, make some immediate, um, uh, important uh, advance. 
Okay. okay. So that's the base of this. Okay. So it, it makes perfect sense that if you came into this charging through that you it should come a point when you take a minute and understand what lies ahead of you and which how to go. Past to this reading then is this eight of coins. And the eight of coins is um, referred to as the apprentice. You can see that this fellow is practicing his craft. He's got his coins uh, hung up here for a display, propped up, getting ready to, to go on with the other ones, really making a good practice of getting this done. Hard work, back bent. So we should come into this uh, understanding that this was hard fought for value, okay? In the sky of this reading, with this moon card, is uh, really secrets being revealed. And look, she's timid. She's holding her secrets close to her chest. She's got almost got her finger in her mouth. Trying, you know how you sometimes try to decide, oh, should I do this? You know, when you're trying to be pensive. So yeah, and it's flooded with uh, emotion and compassion in this water right here, gone through these gates. And so yeah, this up in the sky, secrets being revealed. And uh, sometimes we're not sure if we want to know the secrets. The uh, likely outcome of this first part of this uh, full Celtic cross, then, is the star. And look at this beautiful card. So, yeah, we come from secrets being revealed to just being bathed in the starlight, which is a lot different than the sunshine. The sunshine is a bright, um, uh, glaring uh, uh, spotlight on what's happening. This starlight has got this woman just bathed in the beautiful glow of what's going on, giving her plenty of, of uh, light for direction of how to move forward. I'll go back over this at the end to make sure it makes perfect sense. But right now we need the last four cards to help with this divination. So the first one of those is going to be the self of this question. What is going on for me today? What about the energy for today? How do I need to deal with this? Okay, this is the three. This is the Empress of the Major Arcana. So the Empress is, is like Mother Nature. Look at her. Just She's just sat back on this, uh, in this beautiful display of uh, shrubbery here. She's like a Mother Earth. Okay, just full uh, and fruitful and uh, and very confident. You know, she's not anxious to, to spring forward, but she's very comfortable saying, oh, yeah, I've got everything I need, and I'm just going to take my time and enjoy this little bit of a rest before I move forward. Look at that. The um, environment that that's in, however, is look at that, this three of wands. This is long-term plans. Wands are forward movement, plans, actions. Uh, things going to happen. And this fellow has set these plans down almost in stone, and he's ready to take off on this journey. So this uh, comfortable uh, empress is in the environment of some really concrete plans. The um, likely outcome of this, the hopes and the fears, look at this, uh, the pinnacles are an offer of value, of worth, almost a heavenly gesture that, yeah, this is going to be a great big positive, valuable situation for you. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this world card is a beginnings and endings, new beginnings, uh, old endings. It's always a promise. It's always a circle. It's always ongoing. And so it's just the beginning uh, for you in this. Um, let's go over it again. So push these aside. We started out with this uh, hermit, you know, caution about moving forward. Not fear to move forward. Just understand what's there before you do. And it's challenged by all the choices that we may have. So if you look carefully, you'll see that there are several things that can go uh, for you in this. And uh, but we came into it with this charging night of swords, actions, truth, rules, law. And in the past, we had this apprentice really honing his craft to make sure he just put out the best that he has to display. The secrets being revealed in this moon card just tell us that there's stuff there that is going to come out. And with this star, it tells us, yeah, we want to know what it is. Let, bathe us in that moonlight and that starlight and give us the energy to move forward. The signifier for this uh, question, the self of this question, is this empress. Okay, she is now fully imbibed with all the value that she has. She's almost smug in her uh, fruitfulness. And she's in the environment of solid plans for the future, set in stone, getting ready to take off on that journey, being uh, offered a great promise a great big offer of value and for this journey that's starting and something new. Love that reading. So what do you think? How did it ring for you? Did, did you get some answers there or give you some direction? Or if it's at the end of the day, maybe it answered a few questions. I hope it did. Anyway, I go into it with good intentions and I hope you receive it the same way. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.